Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to our first official nighttime routine with three kids. Bailey is almost five now, Shay is two and a half, and Grayson just turned six months old today. We also have a seven month old puppy named Chloe, so as you can imagine, our hands are extremely full, but I hope you all enjoy our updated nighttime routine as a family of six. So to sort of minimize the chaos and work efficiently, which is how you have to be when you have three small kids, I will usually give Grayson his bath while the girls are eating their dinner. These are the two products that seem to work really well with his eczema prone skin and he hasn't had any flare ups since we started using them. After his bath is usually when we all wind down as a family and either watch a movie or just relax in our family room until it's time to head upstairs to give the girls a bath, but we decided to walk around our neighborhood to look at the Christmas lights and the girls were all so excited. Whenever we take family walks around the neighborhood or when we would walk to and from the pool or the park in the summer when Grayson was first born, we always use our Bugaboo Donkey Duo because of how easy it is to navigate and how much room both Shay and Grayson have. And we can't wait to continue using it this coming spring and summer. I'm acting surprised, but I know I'm not over you. I keep missing a fight, even though this over. Once we all got back home and hung up our coats and took off our boots and stuff, we all headed upstairs for the girls' bath time routine. I keep this little bouncer upstairs for Grayson so he can hang out and watch us while the girls get ready for bed. The girls are at pretty self-sufficient ages, so they both know to get undressed and put their clothes in the dirty hamper while I get their bath ready. These are the products that we're currently using on the girls, and both the girls love these lavender bath bombs. It makes their skin feel so buttery soft, and they smell incredible. So Adam and I both tag team bathing the girls, and once we're done, we'll each take one of them to get dressed in their jammies before heading back into the bathroom to brush their hair and teeth. Now we wash We had our Walmart grocery delivery come in the middle of us brushing their hair, so we had to take a small break to put the refrigerated stuff away. 
And then the girls floss their teeth and Shay's drool falling out of her mouth in this clip seriously killed me. I'm acting surprised, but I know I'm not over you. And then before we get them to bed, this is something new that we've added into our nighttime routine, but I put a few drops of our Sleepy Eyes essential oil in each of the kids' diffusers, including Grayson's. And then we always let the girls each pick one book to read before we all pray together as a family. And Chloe is always a part of our nighttime routine too. She usually just lays right next to Grayson while we're bathing the girls, but she's always by at least one of our sides and we all just love her so much. She's seriously the sweetest puppy. And I'm so glad that Adam begged me to get her because she has been the perfect addition to our family. Now that the girls are both asleep, it's time for Grayson's bedtime routine. So the first thing I do is make him a bottle. He ate right before we left on our walk, so I only gave him four ounces this night, but he'll typically drink about five or six ounces before bed. Once we head upstairs into his nursery, I'll lay him down on his changing table to change him into a fresh diaper. And then after I get him zipped up into his sleep sack, I'll feed him his bottle in the rocking chair. And once he's all fed and burped, I'll cuddle him for a little bit before I lay him down in his crib to sleep. And as you guys know, Grayson has not been the best sleeper, but since diffusing the sleepy eyes in his room, he only wakes up twice in the middle of the night now. And this is the only thing that I've done differently with his nighttime routine. So I'm 100% contributing this to his better sleep habits. After we get all the kids to bed is when I'll take the next hour or so to pick up downstairs, do whatever dishes were left over from dinner, and clean out the girls' lunch boxes so I can pack those up before I go to bed. Adam sometimes helps me with that, but packing their lunches the night before along with laying out their clothes for school helps our mornings run so much smoother. Seems like time as a wave passing by mark in our marks to turn the memories the river's gonna cry when you're going, going, going. 
good God The river's gonna cry when you're good God Good God The river's gonna cry when you're good God Good God The river's gonna cry when you are The river's gonna cry when you are The river's gonna cry when you're good And then the last thing I do, which sort of kicks off my personal nighttime routine, is head into my office to edit. And I'm usually in here for at least four or five hours, so I won't bore you with all of that. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see an updated morning routine, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.